it's either I go to a gig and I get paid 10,000, 5,000, 8,000, whatever the case it may be, or I come to the office and make Emana. I don't know how many times that I make 50 times what I get paid when I'm at the office. DJ Coach, author of Forex Broker Killer, is the most hated and loved Forex trader in South Africa. Some people are inspired by his somewhat rich, nonchalant lifestyle, while others are convinced that he is a scammer. In this video, we're going to be looking into the rise of DJ Coach, the fall of DJ Coach, and how he is planning to rise again to the lovable, hated Forex trader he is. One glance at DJ Coach's social media. Whether that being his Instagram page or Facebook page, you quickly realize that the vibe it gives off is nothing like every other forex trader. Sure, you see the big houses, the foreign cars, even the stocked up fridge with groceries, but the way he shows it off is unbelievable at first glance. Whether it's him posing weirdly in front of his possessions and giving off a non-caring vibe, best believe that DJ Coach is the man he says he is. At the time of this recording, DJ Coach is a proud owner of his own brokerage firm called FBK and he has been trading for more than five years. Uh, starting a brokerage firm, it, it doesn't come cheap you know so that is uh the money that i mostly used i've lost some because of greediness but i managed to to to, to start fbk markets Kopoto Matlani was born into a two-parent household in Limpopo, in a small town called Beggars Fort, with big dreams of becoming a DJ, DJ Beggars Black Coffee. His upbringing was not easy, because the house he grew up in was a shack. The one-room shack was what he called home, and stayed there until he went on to university. At the Sony University of Technology, the university he went to is where he enrolled in an accounting course, which he failed, and changed to an economics course, which he also failed. During his fourth year at TUT, and no sign of graduating anytime soon, is when his childhood friend introduced him to three money making methods, and one of them being forex trading. The reason he chose forex trading over the other two is because during his research into the money making methods, forex was the only one that was mentioned in the Bible. Forex is in the Bible. Yes. You can, I know not all of you guys have Bibles, but you can search. <laughs> uh, you can search for Ecclesiastes chapter eleven, verse one to six. It says, invest your money in foreign exchange trade. Because one of the good days, you might just make profit. You never know your good luck. So, meaning that that With this life-changing information, Hopoto was determined to make money. From that day forward, he stopped using his data for grown-up content and started researching more into forex trading. And what he would see during his research is South African forex traders that portrayed forex as a way one could get rich quick. With him knowing that he's not graduating anytime soon, but his mother thinking he was in his final year of uni, she sent him money so that he could pay off his school fees. But Hoputo had other plans with that money. Sacrifice number one is to take my mother's money, which was a loan, and went into forex with it. It was about 15,000 rents, and I lost it all. Hopoto took the 15,000 rent that his mother had sent him and put it all into Forex, thinking he was going to make millions. But sadly, that was not the case. That 15K was all lost in one trade. And when his mother asked for the proof that he had paid for the school fees, he showed her his friend's receipts. After that big loss, he kept on lending as much as he could about Forex trading. And by the middle of the year, he stopped going to class because he believed in Forex trading that much. With weeks passing by, and still not making money his girlfriend at the time who she thought she was his love of his life broke up with him and that's what made his work ethic crazier than ever by the end of the year he had made his first six figures but still kept this i don't have much persona uh, after she left me my brother i remember accompanying her to her place mm. i've asked her joe don't leave me she said, unfortunately, I love you, mm -hmm. but I have to leave you for my own sake. Yeah. The way DJ Coach got into the limelight was through what he coined the one-minute strategy, where he would only trade for one minute during high volatility news events with high-risk management. Here is a clip of the one-minute strategy in action.
with him being able to milk money out of the market that easy, it was not long until he was able to buy his first car and first house. And short after, he started selling his strategy. Around that time is when he wrote a book called The Forex Broker Killer, which was a hand manual explaining the basics of forex trading and more. With him sharing mind-boggling trading results every news events traded. Interesting funny videos of him showing what is possible from forex and money giveaways through e-wallets. He was able to amass over 100,000 followers across his social media platforms. With this much people interested in his life, he decided to start a reality TV show which was posted on YouTube and was able to garner 100k views each episode. By episode 8, a TV station called Major Love wanted to buy into the show and this is where the downfall started. My manager says, hey boy, we have a meeting tomorrow. I'm like, with who? Uh, we are going to Major Love. Mm. My PA told me that. Mm. I said no. Yeah. He said, no, let's go, boy. I'm your manager. I'm saying, let's go. Yeah. This is good for the brand. Mm. When Major Love came into the picture, they came with multiple promises that they didn't deliver on. Promise number one being that they were going to continue the reality TV show from episode 9 on TV. But instead, they changed the reality show to FBK Millionaires. Which to people that have never heard of FBK, they wouldn't have believed that these people are actually millionaires. Another promise that they didn't deliver on was the money. At the time, the first episode of FBK Millionaires Ed, Coach and his team were supposed to be paid about 20% of the money that they were promised. This action frustrated Coach so much that he didn't want to shoot the diary entries of the fourth episode. And that resulted in the TV show being cancelled after only three episodes airing. With only three episodes of a show that starred people that claimed to be millionaires Ed, it left the public thinking that DJ Coach and his friends were really not millionaires. And what made it final is when he was asked if he was a millionaire and he answered he was a millionaire under construction. Hey, what do you mean not really? Are you a millionaire? Uh, I'm a millionaire under construction. Oh, uh, you and, must say so. Yeah, under construction. After that interview, Coach started posting a lot less on his personal Instagram about Forex and started posting more about his music career. He was still doing his weekly e-wallets giveaway though. And that brings us to today. DJ Coach still daily drives the G-Wagon from the days of the reality TV show. But something tells me that, that the G-Class is not his latest car. It's just the last car he decided to show off because he realized that people would believe what they want to believe. So people need to understand that when you follow me, you need to follow me for who I am, not for what I have. Yeah. During his latest interview, he said he makes so much money through owning his own broker that he could buy multiple Rolls Royces if he wanted to. Listen, if I did not hire these people, as we speak, I was going to be having about three Rolls Royce. 